Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth training video. In this video, we will cover how to make modifications with our bridge model after the bridge wizard is executed and review our analysis result. Before we actually review our analysis result, we will experience how to make modifications on our bridge model after the bridge wizard is executed. First, we will see how small modifications can be made by using tree menu, drag and drop, and node and element tab. If you want to make big modifications such as changing the layout of the bridge, girders, or bracing members, then import the bridge wizard file and quickly regenerate the model would be more suitable. Are you ready to make modifications? Let's start! First, let's open the model file we created during the last video by double clicking it. Once your model file is open like mine, please go to view tab from the main menu and click hidden. So you can reflect your section properties to your model. Then please review the tree menu first. Well, let's say I want to make very small modification at first, such as column. So let's go to works tab from tree menu and go to properties, expand it and go to section and expand it. Do you see 11 different section properties under section tab? Among them, I will double click section properties number six column. Then your column element will be highlighted in red in model view. If you don't want to choose element from tree menu, it is also possible using select functions. Let me unselect everything first and let's go to view tab again and let's go to select, expand the Dropbox menu and select single let's say and also the shortcut icon is over here so you can use it anytime and I will select column first then my column element is highlighted in red again which means it is selected okay but once you choose whatever element you want to make modification mine is column let's use drag and drop function to change it it's the same way you did in the second training video. Let's say I want to change column section to peer cap section. So I will click section number five peer cap and drag and drop onto my model view. Then do you see suddenly my column just changed now? Very easy, right? In the same manner, you can change whatever element you want to change. Let's give it a second try. It will look weird, but let's change section properties number one, section one dash one to column. So I will double click section properties number one and drag and drop section properties six. Then do you see how easily those elements just changed? I will undo and this time I will go to view tab from the main menu and select window and just draw whatever parts on my bridge model and then just drag and drop column again drag and drop very easily i change section properties of part of my bridge model again if you're more familiar with table view you can always use this tables tab from tree menu let's expand structure tables and let's say i want to check my elements double clicking it then you can check all of your bridge model information in tabular format if you want to look at them at both i can go to view tab from main menu and click tire vertically and look at the bridge model information both in graphical format and tabular format and again they are interactive which means if i select some elements from my table view it will also select elements in model view if i make modifications in tabular format then it will also reflect on model view as well okay then i will go back to works tab from tree menu and undo some works that i've made so i can go back to initial model what if i realized i made some mistake on material or section properties after i created model using them no problem Let's say I put wrong information for material number one still. I will right click on this still icon 
and click properties then you will be able to see the material number one steals information again then let's say i want to change Poisson's ratio to 0.2 make modification and click ok then the new steel information is automatically reflected on our bridge model or you can go to properties tab from main menu and click material properties and let's say i want to copy this material and then i can change this material properties 0.3 and click ok and click close then do you see material number one and six still is created but number one has Poisson ratio of 0.2, number six has Poisson ratio of 0.3. If I want to compare them, then I can double click, select those elements that used still number one, and then drag and drop still number six. In that sense, you can quickly compare two or more materials. Last one, if you want to add or delete some nodes and elements, it can be done using node and element tab. But before we go there, let's say we only want to see girders. So let's go to groups tab from tree menu. Our bridge wizard automatically creates some groups for us. Among them, let's look under structure group. Let's double click girder. Then only girder elements will be highlighted on model window. At that time, let's go to view tab from main menu and let's click active in this sense you can only see the girders which also means you don't need to get bothered by other elements that you don't want to see or consider right now if you want to add some nodes and elements then please go to nodes and elements tab and use the function below to create the same way we did in the third training video if you want to delete some parts you can simply do it i will click select by window and and draw some window over the bridge model on model window and press delete then some part of our bridge model is deleted if I go to view tab again click active all then you can see the whole bridge model without the girders that we deleted let's press go back buttons as much as you can to see the initial bridge model again okay you may think now i understand how i can make small modifications but how can i make big modifications such as changing curvature skew angle or general bridge outline easily in that case we can open a new project check unit system pounds and fit and go to properties tab click material properties let's import from the project we just created during the video 4 and 5 import okay go to the section tab import okay and click close go to works tab check whether you have five materials and 11 sections and let's go to structure tab and click still composite bridge and now at this point we can open our bridge wizard file that we saved in the last video you should have a bridge file name training video for still composite girder bridge wizard dot wzd that's the wizard file format let's double click it then your wizard information is changed a little bit as we type in the last couple of videos and let's go to load tab just change the define moving load case to ash to standard and you should have the lanes and let's add some vehicles to add standard we add hs 20-44 and click ok close it and let's execute it by clicking ok we just created this exact same bridge model by using my civil import function you can create same or similar bridge model again and again but let's say we want to create a bridge model that is similar Similar to this bridge model but is straight then let's click undo button and let's open still composite bridge wizard again you should have the same information but uncheck this radius box and click ok then now you have a just straight bridge let's give a second try this time let's say we want to model a curve but not skewed bridges so let's click undo button under structure tab from the main menu let's click still composite bridge wizard and let's click radius again and then um, let's unclick the support skew angle which is zero degree now and let's click ok 
then you have a curved bridge model without no skew angle. How long do you usually take if you want to modify your element to change your curved bridge model to straight bridge? Maybe a couple days. But using Midas Civil's wizard, it was just few clicks and took not even one minute. You can save lots of your time and effort with Midas Civil's wizard. Especially if you work on projects that have similar bridges, then you can have some standard bridge wizard file. And whenever you have different projects, you can bring the file and modify a little bit. I hope it is clear how you can make both small and big modifications in Midas Civil. Then let's close the newly created file and go back to original file. Let's go to analysis tab from the main menu and click perform analysis. Once your analysis is completed, check your message window to make sure you don't have any error messages. By pressing Ctrl key from your keyboard and scroll the wheel button from your mouse, you can make the words bigger or smaller. Just to let you know, my analysis time was 75.25 seconds and Midas Civil is actually known for quick computing time compared to other software vendors. Once you checked it, let's move on to result tab from the main menu. As you can see, you can check reactions, deformations, forces, stresses, diagrams, and heat of hydration results under this result box. Since the result checking procedures are similar to any result types, let's check beam diagrams. So please click force and click beam diagrams. We can't see anything in load case and combinations because we haven't set up any load combinations yet. So let's go to the same result tab and click load combination, which is the first icon. And let's go to composite steel girder design tab and click auto generation. Once you have this window, change design code to Ashto LRFD 12 and click OK. And once you can check the load combination and load cases, you can click close. If you expand this load cases and combination box, then now you can see the load cases under this box. Please feel free to check the load combinations under this Dropbox menu. Let's check the first combination and um, according to moment Y and I want to see deformation legend as well and then click apply. This bridge model looks a little dirty so let's click close and go to group tab and just select the girders again then go to view tabs and click activate then now you can only see girders without bothering by other elements so let's go to result tab again and click force and beam diagram or you can quickly do it by clicking this toggle work tree and previous dialog if you don't want to see deformation anymore then just uncheck this box and click apply then you can see the plus you can see the maximum and minimum moment diagram along the girders. If you don't want to see the combination but just the load case itself, then you can do it by clicking this Dropbox menu on the left top corner of the model window and click this min-max. Then when you expand the load case and combination, you can now see the load cases of the moving load. Let's click MY, but let's make the deformation and click apply. Then now you see the deformation of your bridge model as using this load case combination and construction stage phases you can check the values you want from the analysis result and for this part part one means before the composite action for the section occurs and part two means the composite section is activated so you can check the accurate values as well by using those result checking functions you can not only see the envelope values as we did you can also also check concurrent forces as well in Midas Civil. Once I checked all the values I wanted to check, I will close the program. Thank you for listening to the sixth video which we cover modeling modification and analysis result checking. Isn't it very easy and quick to make modifications and check your analysis result on your bridge model? There are even more functions that I couldn't cover in this video series. For the next video, we will cover how to design code checking within the same platform. Midas Civil. Have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye!